everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? Well, today I'm gonna to start my outfit of the day video. I will be coming on each day of our cruise and showing you what I've chosen to wear for our Alaska cruise. And I totally forgot to do this the first couple of days, our travel day, and I can show you a picture of what I wore on our travel day. And uh, then, yes but yeah, yesterday was embarkation day and I really don't have a full length picture of myself. I'm sorry, but here's a picture of me and my friend Barbara and we were having a great day. So anyway, this is really the first true full day. It's a sea day of our Alaska cruise and I chose to wear this. I'm going to split the screen in half and this is me in my whole outfit, a pair of slacks, uh, a three quarter length uh, sleeve top. I've got this top linked in my Amazon shop in under my fashion gift idea box. And then I've just got a black vest over it. It is chilly willy here and we're not even in Alaska yet. We're still in Canadian waters and it has been windy and chilly here all day. Uh, every time we go outside, I put a jacket on and it is really cold. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know what this video is going to be about and I will come back and you'll see snippet after snippet after snippet of me each day of the cruise. Now I need to go and get ready for a formal night and I will take a full length picture of myself with my first formal night outfit. We have two for this cruise and I will insert that right after this so you can see what I wore on our first formal night. All right. All right. I will catch you guys tomorrow or in a second as this video moves forward. All right. Bye. Hi everyone. Arlen here again. <laughs> here we are on day three of our 12 day Alaska cruise and we are at sea today. And so I am, and it is a smart, casual evening in the main dining room this evening. So I just dressed this morning like I'm gonna stay dressed all day. I'm not gonna change into any other outfit to go into the main dining room for dinner. This outfit will definitely take me right from morning till night, all day long. I can, as you can tell, I have on long sleeves. At the very least, I'm wearing three quarter length sleeves on this cruise, it is cold. It is cold outside and it's also cold on the decks where the door, like the promenade deck where the doors open and shut a lot. It can get quite chilly and breezy. And uh, a lot of people ask me if I, you know, need a sweater in the main dining rooms and I'm always layered up. So I don't, but I'm, but I always have a little lightweight at the very least jacket on or a kimono or something. I usually wear layers. So, you know, I wear layers in my everyday life all the time, but layers for an Alaska cruise are definitely warranted, you guys. Also, while I'm sitting here chatting with you just for a little bit at the kind of the beginning of this video, uh, you could wear, I could, if I wanted to, wear jeans and a sweatshirt. I could wear jeans and a nice sweater. I could wear a sweatshirt, meaning like an Alaska sweatshirt or something like that. You could wear that into the main dining room on a smart, casual night. They'll allow that. Just so your jeans don't have holes and rips and tears in them, you know, you'd be fine in jeans. Um, just not on formal nights. They, they really frown upon that on formal nights. That is not their, you know, what their protocols are. But uh, you saw what we wore last night for formal night, and that's the type of outfits that we choose to wear. And I'll show you my other outfit the next time for the next formal night. But anyway, as I said, and here I am in it, full length, uh, black slacks, black slip-on shoes, uh, just a black short sleeve uh, top underneath, and then this long, and then this jacket that has kind of points that go down in the front. It's kind of a low high, if you will, but it covers my bum. So... Uh, jewelry, again, I'm just dressed this morning like I'm going to stay dressed all day. I, so I wore a statement necklace and earrings and my same jewelry that I always wear, these three bracelets here. But I also added a little Alaska, uh, Alex and Annie bracelet and a little, where is my Stanley bear? Got a Stanley bear, which is Princess's mascot for those that might not know. Princess Cruz's mascot. Here he is. Little, my little Stanley Bear Alex and Annie bracelet. 
<laughs> that's it. Makeup's the same it, and I'll refresh, you know, before we go to dinner. But other than that, makeup is just the same as I do every day that you all see me on video. So that's it. Lipstick is called from Clinique. It is called Punch Pop. There it is. It's a pop from Clinique. And nails are from Color Street. And I actually had to replace my Color Street nails when I first got on here. I had I started out with a different color and I was dumb and put a you know a fingernail polish on the as a base coat that peels off. Well that was silly to do, especially as an exper you know, I should have experimented before I tried it to come on a cruise with it because I looked down on the first day and I had like three nails that had peeled off. <laughs> So I redid them into this, and uh, this is called Galaxy. Galaxy. And I need a little cream on my hands, obviously. Showing my old age in my hands, huh? <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, that's it for this one. So I will catch you tomorrow, which is also another smart casual day, but we are going on an excursion. Uh, we're going to do some whale watching when we pull into Juno. So I'll come back with that outfit. All right, catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, Arlen here. I'm back uh, for our next day in the itinerary and we pulled into Juneau, Alaska this morning. Oh my goodness gracious. First thing we saw was an eagle in the tree. Take a look here. Oh my gracious. Very first thing, a hint for those of you coming to Alaska, if you, especially when you pull into Juneau, scan the trees, scan the trees right outside your door and look for either golf ball or baseball size white baseballs in the trees or golf balls in the trees. And that is a good indication that that might be a bald eagle because their heads stick out of all the greenery. So it's the first thing we saw when we pulled in. Well, after it got light, it was dark when we pulled in. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we are going on a whale watching excursion this afternoon. So I am, uh, it was 49 degrees when we pulled in here this morning. And so I put on a turtleneck because I knew, because I know we're going whale watching. And uh, for the morning hours, I'm, and while on the ship, I'm wearing this uh, little jacket that Chris picked me up from one of the shops. It's, it's got Alaska, not on, not on the front, but it's got a logo on the back. It says Alaska on it. And then, but when we go to, for our whale watching tour, and also paired with this is just, I have the black turtleneck, as I said, and black slacks, black shoes, black everything underneath. Got my hair up because I don't want it in my face on the boat. If it was raining, I'd wear a hat but it's not raining today and it's not expected to rain. Thank goodness, huh? I'm really happy about that. But then when we go to the, uh, for whale watching, I'm going to wear my jacket that it is reversible. And I bought this on board uh, this week. It was on deep sale. I have another one like this at home, but I'm a little bigger than the last time I wore it. So I had to get a bigger size, but I'm working on dieting as you all know. So whatever. Um, but anyway, we bought this uh, 70. 65 or 75% off, you guys. Um, it does have the princess logo on the back and it does have a whale tail right there on the front. It is lovely. It has a hood that you can unzip out of the, out of the uh, collar if you need it. And it is lovely. It is lovely. This is, you know, one side and then the fleece on the other. And this is nice and heavy and nice and warm. And I'm going to so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to wear this and I'm going to add a scarf because it is really cold. When this ship gets going, it is bitter cold. And I know out on a whale watching excursion, it is going to be bitter cold. So I'm going to switch to the jacket and add a scarf and I'll be nice and toasty warm. And I'm going to add, I don't have my gloves out. I wanted to show you too. I do wear um, fingerless gloves because I do love to take pictures so this is another hint for Alaska. Fingerless gloves are a great thing, you know, especially on a whale watching tour or, you know, just out on your balcony, taking pictures out around the ship, taking pictures outside. Uh, I have these in my Amazon shop too, if you're in, at all interested somewhere. I'll have to check and I'll tell you, I'll type up there where I put them and make sure that you know where to go uh, to get those if you're at all interested. They have all kinds of different, different kinds, so. Uh, jewelry, very minimal, minimal, minimal jewelry today. I just have this necklace, uh, that has a little anchor 
and a little ship wheel. And then these beautiful little bright earrings that my friend Barb gave me uh, that have a little um, anchor on them. And they're just super cute. So that's it, my hair up in a clip. Makeup the same as every day. <laughs> And I guess that's it. I guess that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll be in Skagway. I'm not sure. I think we are getting off the ship um, just to explore the town. We don't have a planned excursion to do in Skagway. But anyway, all right, you guys. Uh, I'll try to share maybe one or two whale pictures here too while I'm talking. All right, but I'll catch you next time. Hi everyone, Arlen here on day, I don't even know what day it is on our cruise, but we are in Skagway today and we are just going to simply go into town. We don't have a planned excursion to go on today uh, because of our itinerary and it got a little bit messed up. Uh, we had rented a car here uh, and the Chris, myself and Barb and Don were going to go up and into the Yukon but we tried to rerun a car for the next day. And because we're so close, it was just way too expensive. It was more expensive than we wanted to pay. So we're just gonna hang around Skagway. All four of us have been here before. We are familiar with the town and we might go and do a little shopping today in town. So, so I'm just dressed in kind of my Alaska garb today. I have another little Alaska Buffalo check. This is a vest, here I am in it full full length here with just a black three quarter length sleeve top and a pretty red scarf and black slacks, black top underneath. It's just, well, I said that, didn't I? Oh, boy, sorry. Uh, you know, very minimal jewelry. Uh, we're going off the ship. We have to go through a, you know, a scanner coming back in, but it's not that strong. <laughs> so I can get away with wearing a little bit more than you do on an airline, you know? So, but we're just fixing to go have lunch in a little while here. We had a fabulous day in Juneau yesterday on a whale watch. Uh, you know, if you don't follow me on Arlen's Travels or if you want to join my Facebook and follow along while we're traveling, that would be wonderful. So anyway, links in the description below and uh, I will see you tomorrow and tomorrow we'll be in Glacier Bay, <laughs> my favorite place. All right, catch you tomorrow. Bye. Hi everyone, Arlen here on our next day in our itinerary and we are just entering Glacier Bay, Alaska. Look at the background. It's really foggy and kind of cloudy right now, but it's very early in the morning. It's like, I don't even know what time it is, like eight o'clock or something, hang on. Yeah, it's like 10 of eight in the morning. So we're just getting into Glacier Bay and it's, as you can tell, kind of windy. So I've got my hair up in a clip and I'm dressed warmly in my kind of sweatshirt, Alaska sweatshirt and uh, black slacks and a black turtleneck and a scarf because it's going to be super duper chilly in here today. So, uh, but this will be what I wear all day long because it is a smart casual night in the, uh, in the main dining room. So this will probably be my outfit for the day. All right, let me give you a little look. As I said, it's we're just just entering the bay. We've had little sea otters uh, flying by, or not flying, floating by. I don't see any right at this moment, of course. But just entering. It's gonna be a good day. All right, catch you tomorrow. Hi everybody, real quick here, getting ready to go on an excursion, but I just wanted to come and show you my outfit of the day and I'll put it here. We are in Sitka, Alaska today. We're getting ready to go on a otter and wildlife quest. Can't wait. Never been to Sitka before. This is new to me. So it's a pretty place, pretty place. But just a pair of black slacks, comfy shoes, blue top with a scarf. It's chilly. I'm going to put on a jacket and we're off. 
wear some uh, fingerless gloves, and we're off to see some otters, I hope. <laughs> All right, catch you tomorrow. Hi everyone, Arlen here. Well, it's been a few days since I've been on here in person, hasn't it? We have been so busy. Oh my goodness, we've been running around and going into uh, Endicott Arm and we saw Dolls Glacier. It's been really busy, so I have not had a chance to come on here. Today, but anyway, we are in Prince Rupert, BC. We are back in Canada again. We're uh, gonna be ending our cruise in a few days. Uh, and then we're going to be staying on. So I might continue this video on into a California coastal to see how my wardrobe, so I can show you how my wardrobe will change between an Alaska cruise and a California coastal cruise. So the, you know, but anyway, we'll get there when we get there. Left on this cruise, we have a sea day tomorrow and then we'll be in Victoria, BC for a whole day. And then we'll be back in Vancouver for turnaround day and then we'll start on down the coast so but anyway today I'm still trying to bring in a little bit of the Alaska with a a bit of a you know kind of like a buffalo check but not really but a little bit of more red or a burgundy red with a black vest black slacks black shoes uh black necklace some, some red earrings you know, it's, uh, we're not getting off the ship today. There's not much here in Prince Rupert. It's raining. It's kind of a yucky day. So, but we're going to have a nice day because we're on a cruise ship and we're having a great time. So, all right, I'll be back in a day or two and I'll show you my outfits. All right, bye-bye. Hi everyone, Arlen here, back for yet another day of this cruise. This cruise is like long you guys it was a 12 day cruise and then we're going to do seven more days so have a ways to go yet we are at sea today steaming toward victoria which is where we'll be tomorrow and then the next day will be our turnaround day in other words we're going to stay on the ship but we're going to turn the rest of the ship or whoever is getting off in vancouver around and pull, pulling on a whole new set of passengers to do a california a pacific wine country cruise down the coast of California. But anyway, it is kind of dank and chilly and we are rocking and rolling. If you see me kind of moving, it's not because I've got the shakes or anything like that. It's because the ship is shaking and moving. So, but anyway, today's outfit is, as I said, a sea day. I have just slacks, as you can see, slacks and a nice floral top on with a black blazer. I, I like to layer up even on the ship, you guys. I find that the ship can be chilly, especially like on the promenade deck, on the upper decks where you're going in and out. On one of these cruises, the Pacific Ocean is always cold and it's when the wind hits me, I don't wanna get chilled. So that's why I am always layered up. Same jewelry, uh, same in uh, different, different necklace, little statement necklace and earrings. And that's it for during the day. Now, tonight is a formal night. And if we decide to do formal night, I'll come back and show you what I've chosen to wear for formal night. But if not, I'll see you tomorrow when we're in Victoria. All right, catch you later. Bye. Hi everybody, I know that I have my camera turned the wrong way, but we're headed to lunch, so I wanted to come on and do my video real quick. My goodness, I do have a messy bun happening, don't I? <laughs> we have just pulled into Victoria, BC here today. This is the second to the last day of our Alaska cruise. Of course, we stay on, tomorrow we'll be going into Vancouver and then we stay on for a coastal cruise. So for us today, we are gonna go off and we are going to go to the grocery store and pick up just a few things that we are lacking here and need. Chris and I have been here many times. For those of you who have been following me, know that I had my dear friend Liz, whose house is actually right over there um, or used to be, and she is no longer with us. She passed away of ALS several years ago now, but we've been on the island many times. So Chris and I are just gonna to tootle around a little bit out, out, uh, out in town and then come on back on board. So, but anyway, uh, you can see we have a celebrity ship. You can tell by the big X there. No, there celebrity. you can see it right over there. Celebrity Millennium. There we go. Pretty ship. 
pretty ship. I don't know how long they'll be here, but we'll be here till 1030 tonight. <laughs> so it's going to be a long day. It's a, a, a smart casual day as far as clothing is concerned. I have put on a pair of capris. It's nice and warm here. Uh, and then I just have a short sleeve black top on with this little jacket over it because you know me, I always layer. So, all right, that's it for today. I'm not sure I'll come back for turnaround day. I'll try to, but it's going to be a busy day. So we'll see if I can get back here. But anyway, talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, I did want to show you my messy bun. Sorry. I don't know whether I can get my camera around to show it or not. But let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I'm not sure. I just have a clip in it and I just curled it all around the bottom. For those of you who might want to know, for those of you who might want to know, I just curled my hair is like down to here now. So I just curled it all the way around the bottom and then I just put it up in a, in a claw clip and sprayed it into place and there we go with a messy bun. All right, catch you later. Bye. y'all it's our Lynn it's turnaround day I'm gonna come on here real quick I'm just wearing a pair of capris a black top and a little kimono and we're getting ready to go and transition we got to walk off the ship with our passports and walk back on the ship and that's all we have to do today but we're in a hurry so we see we have to go and do that so anyway I'll see you when we get this cruise started tomorrow and show you I think you'll see my wardrobe will lighten up a bit and probably in color and in uh, style for sure. All right. <sighs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Hi everyone. Arlen here. How in the world are you guys doing today? Well, I really didn't come to you on turnaround day, did I, too much? We were very busy. Very, very busy. What they do on turnaround day when you're doing a back-to-back -back cruise is they make those of you who are going to be a passenger in transit, they give you a little passenger in transit card and you have to take your passport and you have to go off of the ship and you have to go back through border patrol and you, then they bring you back on the ship. So, but that was quite a to-do yesterday. It seemed like uh, sometimes the left hand didn't know what the right hand was doing and it was a little confusing and... Anyway, we finally got back on the ship, and now we have started on our Pacific Wine Country cruise. And this is our first day uh, out to sea. Well, actually, we're coming, uh, into we're coming into Astoria, Oregon today. It is very foggy. It is misty and rainy. I am staying on the ship today. Uh, Chris may go off. I'm not sure what Barb and Don are doing, but I'm going to do the room tour. I think I'm going to record my room tour today. So anyway, this is just a smart, casual day from morning till night so I've dressed appropriately uh, getting we're getting ready to go to lunch here in a minute and I'll wear this straight through dinner you can see me here I have a pair of uh, below the knee way below not way below but I would say mid calf below capris on uh, black capris and then I have a little white top with blue flowers on it and a blue sweater blue jewelry you know the same stuff that I have all the time I did Chris get, did get me this pretty little pearl bracelet on board this time but all this other stuff I've had forever and then my same watch that I wear every day so and that's it that's it for today tomorrow we'll be at sea uh and then the next day San Francisco and then another at sea day and then uh San Diego and then a sea day I think and then home so or back to LA and then home so I have quite a few days here left to show you so I'm going to hush so I can bring you this entire like 19 day cruise here, right from Alaska back to LA. All right, see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, here I am on day three of our Pacific Wine Country cruise and day 15 on our entire cruise, including the Alaska cruise. So tonight is a formal night, so I will be wearing one of my little kimonos that I have that for those of you who are on my Country Craft Corner channel, will recognize tonight. It's just my purple, I'm gonna just wear my purple kimono. If I have time, I'll take a picture of myself in the outfit. But for the daytime hours here, which we're really not doing anything, it's a sea day. So we're just kind of hanging out. We're getting ready to go to lunch here in a little bit. And you know, not a lot to do. 
not that we want a lot to do right now. This this cruise is kind of designed to, you know, as a relaxing cruise and just to kind of cruise back to LA so we can fly home from LA. Uh, so all I have on is a pair of black slacks, a three quarter length sleeve black top. It has been kind of chilly and really rocky. If you see the see me rocking, it's not that I'm rocking in my chair. It's that the ship is rocking back and forth today. And uh, it's it's been foggy. The foghorn, if you hear that in the background, it's been blowing about every six minutes all through. Well, since I woke up, I didn't hear it when I was sleeping. But anyway, and then I have this little buffalo check vest on, black necklace, same jewelry as always. Barb gave me this a while back, so I wear that every time I wear red. Uh, I redid my nails the other day. Uh, I took it, um, I don't remember what my other one was. Oh, I can't remember. I'll type it here if I can remember it. But I put all fired up on. So uh, these are Color Street nails. You can find a link for in the description box for my Color Street nail consultant, who is Scott Singer's mother, as a matter of fact. Uh, we are still having to wear masks on board, so I do have a red mask here from Vera that I bought a long time ago. But uh, news that we got right after we boarded this ship is that Canada finally dropped all of their uh, vaccination and pre-cruise testing mandates. All of their COVID protocols were dropped. So we still have, we are in U.S. waters and we still have to wear masks on board though, which is not a bad idea, you know. So me, we, we have, have to wear, wear masks, masks indoors, except when we're eating or drinking and we have to wear them outdoors when we cannot socially distance. So still with some COVID uh, protocols kind of lingering and, and that's okay. We don't mind. We don't mind trying to keep ourselves and others safe. So that's okay. But anyway, that's it for today. Uh, as I said, if I have time, I'll come back and show you just a, probably a picture of me in my formal outfit, which is, it's, it's formal enough, you know, definitely, uh, but not, not blingy like my other one. I might make, wear the other blingy one on their other. We have two uh, formal nights. But anyway, that's it for this. So I'll see you tomorrow after you see my formal night, if I took it. <laughs> Bye. Hi everyone, Arlene here standing outside on our balcony today as we have now entered the port of San Francisco. Yay! Uh, I don't know that we're getting off the ship too much today. We are going to go down and see Pier 39 where all of the sea lions kind of hang out. So we want to go down there and maybe go take a peek at Fisherman's Wharf, maybe a little bit. But not. we're not going to, you know, wander too far afield because We've been here before and we've been off the ship before and been across the Golden Gate Bridge and so on and so forth. So as we look around here, I want to point, Alcatraz is, this is the Serenade of, Serenade of the Seas. This is the little Caribbean ship, Serenade, Serenade of the Seas. And Alcatraz, you can just see the corner of it kind of off of its, off of its aft. And then the Golden Gate Bridge is right down that way, kind of off the front of the ship. If you look straight out, you can kind of see the, the high points of the bridge. It's kind of a little bit in the in the haze a little bit, but uh, I took some beautiful video of it. If I can pull that up here, I'll put it, I'll add it here of us going under the bridge this morning before, before it was light outside. It's really pretty. Uh, but anyway, today I just am dressed in a pair of black capris. Here I am. And this shirt is probably about, not even kidding you, three decades old. It's just a... Uh, a tank top and uh, this little jacket I got from Amazon and just very plain jewelry my hair up you know just very very casual today very very casual today it is a sea day all day long we are going to eat at the Crown Grill I can wear this to the Crown Grill and very well might because uh, it's always smart casual dress in there and that will do it for my outfit of this day here in San Francisco California <laughs> all right see you tomorrow Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Well, here we are with yet another day on our cruise. And you know what? I don't even know what day it is <laughs> other than it's Friday. I know it's Friday and I know it's a sea day. So for during the day today, I'm just wearing this uh, really pretty little, it's a tank top underneath this little jacket that has kind of points that come down in the front and a pair of black capris, black shoes, black jewelry, hair up. 
Again, I seem to be wearing it up a lot on this cruise. It's just a lot easier to deal with, to be honest with you. Go outside, it's windy or whatever, and it's just out of my face, so I love it. And I've kind of found a new hairdo during this whole cruise, so it's working out. Uh, tonight is a formal night. I do believe we will be formally dressed. I don't know whether I'll have time to do a picture, uh, but it'll probably be one of the outfits I've worn before, so you've probably already seen it because we've done a lot of a lot of formal nights, haven't we, on this one? So, but anyway, that's my outfit for the day, during the day, and I will change to go to formal night tonight. So, if I get a picture of that, I'll put it here, and if not, I'll see you tomorrow for a day in San Diego, then we have a day at sea, and then we have disembarkation day. So, doubt if I'll be taking a picture that day. I may, I don't know, but right now we're headed off to lunch, so I'll see you, catch you later with either a formal picture or tomorrow's little snippet video. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, Arlen here coming to you from San Diego, California. It is a hopping place here, let me tell you. We have had sailboats and yachts and all kinds of stuff. I guess this is where the rich and famous come to play. Not not us, but other people. I am telling you, let me move out of the way here for a second. There are, I am telling you, marinas everywhere you look. There's yachts. There are different, uh, there's like a pirate's boat over here that you can take an excursion on. All kinds of fun stuff to do here in San Diego. Uh, but I did not take uh, my video this morning for my outfit of the day because we actually went off the ship and I was dressed very, very casually in a pair of capris and a little poncho top. But we are getting ready to go to dinner now and I did change for dinner. It's not a formal night. Well, obviously not a formal night, but uh, I just do, I did put a skirt on, a, a maxi skirt and a black top and then this little jacket that those of you who've been following me have seen five billion times. I've had this for quite a long time. Uh, I did add some more blingier, you know, a little bit blingier jewelry uh, in a in a statement necklace and some uh, pearl earrings and then just some rings that I've purchased here on board in my regular rings and this pretty bracelet that Chris got me. So, you know, just to bling it up a little bit for dinner. But anyway, I thought y'all might like it out here today because it is such a pretty place, such a pretty, pretty place. It's been a beautiful day. It's probably in the, oh, 60s now. I would say high 60s now, but it was in the 70s, maybe 75 or so earlier today in the sun. So anyway, all we have left of this cruise is one sea day tomorrow and then disembarkation day. I do not know whether I will be back. So uh, I am going to go ahead and say some final words here that I always say at the end of my videos when I when I do my Country Craft Corner videos, and I thought I would end this one in the same. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me throughout this entire journey. It's been a fun one, huh? Uh, and so many different outfit changes and so many different mixes and matches. So thank you all for so much for coming along. I hope all is well with everyone. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.